Heart attacks is one of the leading causes of deaths globally, while countries around the world are trying to develop new ways to respond to the diseases. A new chip developed by Australian scientists may prove to be a big breakthrough in altering patients of increased risks. Our next report has more details. A small device using microfluid chip could be the answer to the fatal global threat that is cardiovascular diseases. Biomedical engineer at the Sydney University's Biomedical Engineering Laboratory is working on developing a pinprick test that could pick early signs of heart attack and stroke. Dr. Ju says that the biomedical micro device will use what is called a microfluidic chip that can read the blood clotting tendencies of an individual. The device would take blood samples using the pinprick test and analyze the sample for platelet clotting and white cell inflammation responses. The information would be immediately processed by an external operating system. So that we developed this microfluidics can mimic the, um, the blood flows um, and also biomechanical factors in the circulation and utilize to, um, to look at um, the reactivities of the blood cells, platelets and neutrophils, um, how they interact, how they interplay, um, and then use that device to predict, um, assess the, the clotting tendency as well as the inflammation um, for, the, for the patient. Ju's device detects disturbances in blood flow and small changes to the platelets. His team is now working to understand the mechanical forces that lead to blood clotting with the aim to create personalized blood profile for each at-risk patient. And then from this device, you know, we can measure um, the, or we can assess um, the blood clot tendencies for these uh, patient samples. Due to easy functionality of Dr. Ju's device, he believes that it could be made available widely within a few years, depending on interest from the medical sector and the funding available. For cardiologists who have to deal with CVD patients every day, this device could revolutionize the industry. The clotting um, uh, profile on this tool, for instance, may change from normal to being in a, a higher risk zone. And so having smart tools that are tailoring people's health um, it has the potential of transforming our understanding, but also the treatment of, 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 of conditions such as heart attacks and strokes. According to the World Health Organization, in 2019, nearly 18 million died globally from cardiovascular disease. Australian Department of Health lists CVDs as causing 27% of all deaths each year and says that 1.2 million other Australians have a heart or vascular condition. Bureau Report, we on World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.